welcome back to my channel, Margaret Knob Designs. I've got a couple items here that um, from a crafty haul. I have had some other hauls, but uh, I thought I would share these with you. I have been thinking a lot more about doing more card making than what I do right now. I do card making, but I don't always share it with everybody. So I um, wanted to show you a couple of the things that I got. And one of the things, uh, the first thing that I got was uh, a collection from uh, Colorado Craft Company. And these are the cutest, cutest, cutest stamps. I got this one as um, a free giveaway from Colorado Craft Company. It is um, sending you all my love, sending you a heart and hugs, and it's a... Um, a mailbox that you can color in just the cutest little stamps and then the next thing that I got were um, these metal dies with this collection of stamps and with these really cute little mice um, they are just adorable there's like four mice on here and then there is um, the dies to cut them out and um, I just couldn't resist uh, with this like it's like a squash almost uh, type of house and um, just some free coloring in. I'm not a great colorist, but um, I'm working on it. I'm trying to do better. But some of the really cute sentiments that they have on here is home sweet home, uh, come for a visit real soon, I miss, you, I miss our get togethers, I hope your day is fantastic in every way. So, um, but I've seen this colored in by some other uh, card makers. They've just done a fabulous job. So we'll see how I go with that and see. If, I'm going to try to do a couple of videos on these new items. And then this one, I just could not resist. I didn't get everything on their new, um, their new collection um, that just came out, but I just couldn't resist. The cards that I saw on these were just adorable, so I got the dies and I got the stamps. And uh, some of the sentiments with this is, just wanted to say you're amazing, just a little high for me, and just because. But once these are put together, they are just adorable. So that's what I got from uh, Colorado Craft Company, and I'm hoping to add these to my collection. and. Uh, Possibly, I may bring some of these for um, a collaboration uh, coming soon. Then the other collection that I ended up getting is, if any of you know me at all, you know that I love um, Queen & Company. I love their shakers, their die sets. They're just absolutely adorable. And this kit that I got is called a Dog's Life Kit. And what you get with this is you get dies that will um, cut out the papers that will go on top of the um, forms for making shakers. Then you get this stamp set that has a ton of sentiments on it. And you get this um, pattern paper. And what's really nice about it is that the design and the pattern paper is uh, small, so it works really well on A2 size cards. So in the kit, you get 27 steel dies, 6x6 paper pad, 6x4 clear stamps, foam stick shakers acetate, and 7 shaker toppings. So this is an example of some of the cards that you can make. The other thing that I got with this collection is what they call... Um, I'm trying to make sure I have the right ones. These are... Um, can't think of the name of them, but um, they cut the inside of the pattern paper that you would like to put inside the foam for the shakers. So I got those and I bought a package of the foam refills. This is the foam refills with um, some acetate that goes on top of these and then you can put your pattern paper on there as well. Um, if any of you know me, or have been watching me for a while, you know that I am a dog owner and my daughter is a dog trainer and she is also working on opening up her own kennel. 
and in opening up the kennel, she's looking for um, breeding rights to breed Canna Corsos, which is a Mastiff, Italian Mastiff breed. So uh, doggy cards are a big thing in our house. And these are some examples. This, this is not a shaker, shaker, not a shaker, but here's a shaker right here. And then there's some shakers on here. But you can do these without making them a shaker. You can also do them as a flat or regular card. So what we have in the kit was um, the paper pad that's not in here right now. But that paper pad is, this is the one that you get in the kit. It's a 6x6 six six matte stack. There's 16 styles and 24 papers. There's three each of eight double-sided papers. And let me just take a quick look at that. There is a pattern on one side and then a, a different pattern on this side. This is a, really a very pretty uh, check. It actually has uh, like this color green going alongside the um, stripes on there. And then you've got a yellow patterned and a stripe patterned dog paws, dots, um, really bright kind of ready pinky red another stripe and some more dots but you can see also the size of these patterns are just perfect for a2 sides cards and then we've got some diagonal stripes and some bones um, stripes and some dots the nice thing about this collection is the colors are great uh, gray and more uh, different colored paws and we kind of go back to the same designs in all of this and in these patterned packs what I'd like to do with this is to uh, make some cards my daughter loves to do some thank you cards to her clients for dog training so I think I'm going to go ahead and work on that and then um, I know you're going to have a tough time seeing this but um, in here there is some little gems oops right here uh, right here some little gems that will go inside uh, the shaker and it doesn't look like a lot but honestly when you start making the shakers you really find that you have quite a bit of the gems I have some other gems I want to show you though too and in the rest of this kit what you're going to see is is that there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen different sentiments like um, this one says, hot dog, it's your birthday. I love, I love you like dogs love hot fire hydrants. I hope your birthday is possum. Um, I woof you. So they're just really cute dog sentiments. Um, really worth it for uh, making any type, type of specialized cards. And then you get the original foam set for making. Usually the kits have... Um, you can make two or three um, shaker cards within these foam kits. It just depends upon the kit itself. And then these are the dies that cut out for the colored cardstock and go on top of the shaker pieces. A dog house. Um, this is a puppy face. This is a bone bowl. This is a part of the fire hydrants. I, I think this is another doggy face. And then there is, um, this is love, but with a paw in it. But these are very, very cute. And the other thing to just note about that is you can um, use these to make just regular flat designs on your cards for um, like a puppy or uh different types of card layers. You don't have to make these all into shakers. And this is a dog house with a door, the roof, um, and then like the bone and the uh, bowl can go down in front of that. So these are really great dies. And remember, if you look at how many dies are included in this kit, and then you also get the foam, uh, foam packs and the papers and different things like that. But I also bought uh, the dog's life solids so you can see that there's a lot of primary colors in here There's a little bit of muted colors natural colors all the way along here, but they work really well for making cards in these um, solid tones 
and that that works really well and to kind of finish off the kit um, uh, Queen and Company always gives you uh, something like a, a nice little freebie or something within your kits so this um, selection is um, uh, some about enamel dots and I'll show you those in a minute but this is something that I got for free from Queen and Company is all these beautiful um, kind of a fallish toned uh, beads that can go in shakers they're just really beautiful when they catch the light and one of the other shaker items that I have for my kit is these are all um, little paws like in pink and green and black and olive and teal and red. So all of these shapes in here are little paws. They're very, very cute. So I'm gonna mix these with some of the other shaker toppings. And then I bought um, a collection of the epoxy dots. And they're a little bit different than some of the other epoxy dots you see out there. They're uh, actually a matte finish. And this one has black, gray, and cream with an extra black in there. Um, I've never used these before, so we'll see how that goes. The one thing I do have to say, though, is I'm not a fan of these overly huge dots, but possibly I'll find something that'll work with them. I much rather use a small, medium, and then these as a large, but we'll see what we can do with that. So there's those colors, and then there's a deep pink and a light pink, a deeper purple and a lighter purple. Same thing with the green. And then there's a teal and a pretty deep teal right in that. And the blues, there's a pretty light blue with uh, deeper blues through here. And on this one, it's almost like three different colors. Um, kind of like a marigold and a tan and a yellow, a light yellow. And in this, this almost reminds me of um, like the pottery. And there's like two darker, two a little bit lighter. This is lighter actually than this one even. And um, this is kind of like a, a rosy, this is kind of plum. Um, we'll see how these go. I have never bought these before, so I've never tried them. Looking forward to seeing what um, those are all about. But this is my crafty haul for today. I will put links in the description below for anything that I can find links on. And um, just wanted to show you what some things that are going to be upcoming. I think I may try to use this kit in the next um, Smash Our Stash uh, video that will be coming up on April 7th. I think I'm going to try to make those up and see if I can make more of those. Um, not make more of those. I've not had this before, but to make some cards that I can give to my daughter. So thank you so much tonight for joining me and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I've got a project in process from Prima. It's a 8x8 album, so watch for it. There will be a couple different videos. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I hope you have an awesome time crafting, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.